welcome to our channel. Gardens by the Bay is a very big park. Okay guys, so right now we are at Chinese Garden. This is like our third time being here again. Because we haven't covered everything. So we really recommend you guys to take three full days to cover this place. If you want to see the whole thing. Unless you just want to go to the main parts, the main attractions. Like the Super Tree, Cup Forest. Lava Dome, those are the main attractions that people usually go to. But there's many small gardens like the Chinese Garden, Indian Garden, and Malay Garden. And what's the last one? That. But there's also Marina Barrage, which also many people go there to eat there, you know, have picnics and fly kites there. Fly drones. Oh, yeah, that's one of the places that you can fly drones in Singapore too. And also, the lighting at night. Yes, yeah, the super tree grow. It's usually during the evening and at night. It usually starts at seven forty-five. Yeah, and also there's a second session which is at eight plus. And we also went to see the wetland. It's not it's very small, it's smaller than I expected. You can see giant dragonflies here too, and they're real. So you have to be careful of them. There's also like amazing scenery here. There's many boardwalks and. And most of this place here is free to go. It's good that you come here during good weather because like right now it's so windy. I love it's so it. So windy, so and nice. the sky is so blue too. You know, so yeah, good weather is the best day to come. So make sure you check the weather. And there, up there, if you guys can see, is a flower dome which we've been before. So if you guys want to see when we go there, make sure you go check out the rest of our video. But here's a great place to go if you want to go to other Singapore attractions too. I feel so relaxed here. Look at the view. It's really peaceful here. on reclaimed land. This is to transform garden city into a city in a garden. This means a developed city in a green environment. This space was opened in 2012. The South Garden, which is the crowded and the largest garden here. Gardens by the Bay is also next to the Marina Reservoir. And there's many lakes here too. It's a huge area but all are free. Except the two domes and the OCBC Skywalk and the observatory. The free areas are just so beautiful, so make sure to keep watching. Mysterious. And somewhere here would be the Malay Garden, the Indian Garden.
ஒரே காதல் Look guys, it's the kampung. The kampung building. They can't go on it. It's blocked. Sadly. Look. Kampung. Okay. Um, I know why Kampung is in a Malay garden because the word Kampung comes from Malay. Okay guys, so right now we are at Chinese Garden. The last garden, other than Chinese, Indian and Malay, is actually the heritage garden or the colonial garden. It's called Dragonfly, but where is it, right? Where is it? It's up there. It's up there, guys. Look at that. It's so big.
fisherman wetland. The latest attraction in Gardens by the Bay. This is a new wetland opened in November 2021. It's a lovely place. There are two lakes connected. Lakes are important because they work like a filter and leave the water clear and clean afterwards. Clean water may also flow to the reservoir. There's lots of mango trees here. The mangroves are used as shelter for the wildlife. This place is a beautiful scenic place with lots of cascades and streams. And this one here. These places are a wonder in nature. We do hope to come back here again. Till we bring you travel again. Bye!